Five of Pentacles is your center card, and we have the energy here of someone being supportive of someone else. You may find yourself seeking support, supporting another person that's very important to you. There is a sadness in this card, but I just so distracted about how lovely the general energy is. So I feel like you're moving away from the Five of Pentacles. And if anything, did I say Five of Cups before? I'm not even sure. Um, I feel like you're moving away from this. And the Five of Pentacles is becoming just happier. It's like you've gotten the support. You're slowly coming through and you're seeing something more positive for yourself because I just can't keep my eyes from this energy on that general side. And we'll look at clarification cards. Now, maybe the finances have hit a wall for you and that's affecting you. And then there's something else outside of that that is just fantastic. We have, again, Empress, Ten of Cups, the Sun, happiness. Enter feeling energized, feeling complete, feeling like you have everything that you want at this time anyway. It's like total emotional fulfillment is coming through and it really can't get any better. So I love these cards for you guys. And I hope, I hope, I hope it's the case. Let's see that every week. Sun as the outcome, happy energy. And some of you, maybe it does involve children, family that's coming into focus, whether you're having them and it's a new thing for you, or, you know, that's just where you're putting your energy and it's a, it's just a good time that's being experienced. You're outside, you're enjoying the situation. There's just harmony with the Ten of Cups and this card, these, the Sun card as well. The energy too, the yellows feel that same joy, I guess, and that same like, getting up early in the morning and feeling excited about the day is actually what I get. Sounds silly, but that is what I get. Come back to you. Now on the love side, a little bit different. We have temperance, the page of cups with the five of wands. And here, you know, you have the possibility of being asked out for some drinks with temperance in the page of cups. It could be something of that nature. That could be by a partner. If you're single, it could be by someone who, is just coming into your space and you're considering it as a possibility. But if that's the case, if it's like someone, well, actually, regardless, there are some uncertainty surrounding it with the Five of Wands. I don't see the Five of Wands as confusion, but rather I feel like somewhere more than likely on the inside, you're debating the situation. Now, some of you could be invited to some sort of like sports activity. It could be looking beyond negative of the five of wands this could be some sort of activity where it's just busy energy so lots of things happening movement motion and maybe this is something that you're interested in or a partner of yours is engaged in and they they're basically saying why don't you join me why don't you see what i do or just um try this with me something like that could be coming up But a couple of these characters do look like they're having fun. Now they're doing kind of their own thing, but they actually look pretty engaged, a few of them, anyway. And some of you are just getting uh, messages, lots and lots of messages. Now, because the Five of Wands is here, there's a possibility that some of those messages feel a little bit mixed or you don't know how to interpret them. But for the most part, I think, especially if you're single, this could be, for instance, having multiple people attracted to you and you know, maybe enjoying that and taking your time with it as temperance is like, I'm not in a rush to choose any particular suitor. Five of Pentacles, please. I'm getting the clarifiers. And <laughs> as much as I love when that happens, sometimes it just makes it more difficult. Five of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. And what's interesting is that these two cards are very similar in their portrayal where they have two people in an embrace and there's a solemnness and a sadness, but they're there for each other. They know what's happened. And again, I feel the sense of recovery because they're together. So you could be connecting with someone that you have missed and maybe without them, you felt like out in the cold by yourself, but you're not by yourself here. And again, finances could be at the center. Let me get one more. Another five. I'm almost getting the vibe of unspoken words and unspoken energy because these these people here like know what's happened 
it more than likely was a negative experience and it's as if nobody wants to talk about it. But again, there's that comfort there and it's something that you and maybe this other person that's in the situation would much rather not speak about any further and just kind of leave it, um, let it just pass and understand the situation for what it is and let it just kind of slither away. That's how I feel. Now let's get a clarification card for the beautiful side. And uh, all right, let's see. Too many cards, so I'm just gonna shuffle again. Oh, we have someone that actually flipped over. Queen of Rods is here. So this adds to that fire excitement energy that's coming through in these cards. This could also represent the energy that you have this week to just get going and get moving because things are working so well. This could also be someone who's a strong influence who's bringing a lot of this emotion of happiness, someone that you're enjoying spending time with. Maybe it is that person who's been extremely supportive of you. So let's go one more. Hermit. What a quiet card to kind of... All right, so this card is reflective. And as much as you're enjoying the circumstances, I think the Hermit is kind of making you pull back a little bit and just observe what's happening and really absorb how you're feeling, especially because it seems so positive. There could be something that you're learning too that's making you feel good. And you want to take your time with it because you just enjoy this energy too much. You want it to last. And Ten of Cups. All right, so you're thinking about the happiness. It's just basically taking over your mind because of course it feels great. So if you were to say what's creating this happy energy in all these cards, which card would that best? Oh, a person is creating this. The King of Swords. This person has a great influence on the emotional happiness that you're feeling. This could be an air sign. This could be someone who's just, again, very supportive. Someone that you go to because they're so rational that they give you the insight that you need and whatever they've given you, again, has opened up something for you that's bringing you that joy. So we've got a more than likely a male energy that's the reason behind this happiness. The love side. Page of Cups has returned. So emotional connection is definitely coming through this week, whether you're single and it's someone that you encounter on the street or wherever that's coming through, someone's attracted, someone's expressing an attraction or wanting to take you out. This could be your partner giving you love messages, giving you an affectionate gift or being affectionate with you this week as well. What's the reason for the five of wands? Now, somewhere, for whatever reason, you're back and forth when it comes to love. You could be juggling people, especially if you're single or even if you're in a partnership. You could also be just of two minds in regards to a situation that's happening in your love life. And this represents that conflict of trying to resolve and pick a side, which for the moment is being difficult. Now, what are those two options? Give me two. The Emperor and the Four of Swords. So I almost feel like one option is to take initiative, to make a power move in your love life, whatever that may mean. In some cases, this could be someone who's been inviting you, expressing attraction, or you them, and you know, you're going forward with this person, or you don't. You stay quiet for this week, you decide not to reach out, or just maybe let them wait a bit and say you just need some downtime. So I feel like action or inaction basically is the choice here. And give me a card for the pages. Hang me. I honestly, I don't think that's being stuck and someone being stuck, you or anyone. I feel as though someone is saying, let's hang out. Let's get to know each other. Let's spend time together. Let's, you know, just do something you and I, and that is the choice. Again, that leads you to the energy of, do I or don't I? Do I go for this? Do I just like relax this weekend and stay by myself, stay in, because I'm not really interested in seeing anybody for this week? That feels like the question that you may need to answer. Ace of Swords is your center card. This could be a week of new ideas, new thoughts, imagination truth coming into focus as well, cutting through the nonsense to kind of just like let it all out there, um, realizing what's important to you, what's not, maybe even cutting people out, bringing people in, 
decisions, firm decisions, could also be a big factor here with all the swords energy. But wherever these decisions lead you, if that's a thing for you this week, it all feels positive. I mean, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they understand each other. They're working well together, so I feel like that's the case with you and someone. These could be two people who are very supportive of you as well, like parents or a couple, friends, whatever, two business partners. And here's how it leaves you, Nine of Coins. You've got plenty, plenty good here to enjoy. You're, you have freedom and independence here. And you're loving your situation, which I love that being the case. I wish that was the case every week for everyone. All right, so on the love side, we have the Nine of Cups and the Six of Coins and the Wheel of Fortune. And I see cards of good fortune coming through overall. Nine of Coins, lucky with, you know, health, money, career. Nine of, uh, sorry, Nine of Cups, emotional satisfaction. She's smiling here. She's like, She's very, very happy. Look at her face. And she's adorable. She's like, can it get any better? Well, yeah, because you can get the Ten of Cups, but you're pretty happy where you are right now, regardless. And in terms of love, you're getting something that you feel you deserve at this point. Now, you could also be wishing for it, but with the Wheel of Fortune as the outcome, it feels more than just a wish, as if it's coming towards you, things are changing for the better. And you're seeing this positive energy in your love life, whether you're single, whether you're in a partnership. If you're single, this could be the promising connection where you share quite a bit. You spend time together. You feel like when you get home or you're talking to them, you have a little smile on your face as you're texting them, for instance. And again, that change in the air. All right, actually, before I forget one for general six of swords a card of transition to easier times is how i see it now some of you may have the ability now to take a trip this could be an exotic trip this could just be having recreational time for yourself and enjoying it with the nine of coins it's like you got money to spend here if you want to these two people could be buying some like they could be again parents that are buying you some sort of vacation as a gift that came in my mind otherwise you're very able to take care of yourself you have the support of at least one other person got two Seven of Wands and Judgment. Now, in terms of love, I feel as though you've been wanting something for quite a while, whether it's for your partner to give you something that you've desired and you start seeing that come in for you. Judgment is like that awakening that I think... Actually, let me get one more. Yeah, what was interesting is I was seeing Judgment as the awakening that's bringing you from an energy of having to fight for it, feeling like there was a struggle and you're starting to see that you're getting what you want from someone or connecting with someone who doesn't leave you feeling like shit, who doesn't abandon you or is just very communicative to their open person is how I'm seeing this energy. Let's get one for the Ace of Swords. The Lovers. There's a harmonious connection that's being developed, whether it's romantic or otherwise. You could be talking about major plans to get together with someone. Of course, as I said, it doesn't just have to be romantic, more than likely because it is the lovers, but it could also be a business relationship that's coming through here and a union that feels just very good to you. So let's get more clarification cards. And let's look at the, hmm. I don't know what I want to look at. <laughs> let's see. Ace of Swords and the Lover is fine. Four of Cups. Yeah, okay. So I think that this Ace of Swords breaks through a pattern 
or a long-standing sense of feeling bored, apathetic, like things were not going your way, and a change is in the air, an ace of rods, we get that new energy coming through. You're feeling it. You're feeling the attraction, the passion in something here. Let's just get one for the King of Swords. Okay. I feel again, this person is a very strong supporter where they're helping you get away from, or at least move past this anxiety that you may feel. And now you have more of a harmonious energy. You're feeling successful and you're feeling like things are falling into place and are stable. Nine of coins. Ace of Cups. I feel like the Ace of Cups adds to an emotional happiness with this freedom and independence that you're experiencing, this ability to take care of yourself, like you've got what you need and more so, and it's filling you with quite that emotional joy. You may have these feelings come to the surface that you haven't experienced before, and what this is could be something that is new to you as well. A lot of aces too, so this could be a week of those new beginnings. Nine of Cups. Well, we have Knight of Rods. You're hearing something from someone that you've wanted to hear. They're also It's also the energy of someone coming your way rapidly and fulfilling a wish, is how I see it, especially with the Wheel of Fortune as the outcome card. There's this attraction. That's a possibility here. Wheel of Fortune. Now, even though you see the changes and they're very, very positive, you are a bit nervous about what's going on. You are a bit uncertain, and that ties into communication. There could be a child that's a factor here that you don't necessarily know what's going to happen with that. Especially if you meet someone who has a child, you may be concerned about your relationship with that child, for instance. That's a possibility. Otherwise, there is some anxiety towards communication. I still see it going positive. I feel that's, you know, nothing to really be concerned about. The High Priestess. I feel the High Priestess in this case is very revealing. So this is the type of person that you can be very open with is also coming through. Judgment. And it feels new. And that's, if you're in a current relationship, it still feels like a new path with that person that's opening up. And if you're not in a relationship, this feels like the possibility of starting something new where you see like, oh, we could probably do a lot of things together. This may be something that's long-term. You feel that sort of, kid like i'm just gonna go ahead and continue on see where this goes not overthink it or try not to overthink it because the eight of swords is there 